chances for an average Dutch boy are one to one million. Eric Sloof took his chances. He went on the radio. Now, he's an Als we maar zo zitten, dan is het niet goed. Ja. So no screens of death, or you would have application failures, 
HA won't do anything about it. So that's why you could use Microsoft clustering to address those failures. So the other options for Microsoft clustering are getting a cluster to clustering. Very good. And what about a second custody ad? Okay. And what about virtual virtual remote? Okay. Cool. Now, uh, if you've had a heartbeat network, a shared storage adapter, and a second SCSI adapter, uh, then you are correct. So those are the three things which are mandatory. So, now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, uh, PowerPoint image by that, something like that. So I've created a nice detailed picture for you. So, I'm not going to discuss this picture completely because it's better to brief you if you... So, that's what you need. Now, look at some extra additional topics. So, if you're going to do a uh, clustering, like I said before, clustering is really special. So, what is so special about clustering? Well, you're going to set up a core web and you're going to set up a resource list. And those disks are being shared between the two nodes. That means both nodes are going to access the same log or same disk at the same time. That means if you're going to use NTFS, which is a mandatory for uh, file system for Windows, of course, uh, it will confess. So, just go through it, and, well, eventually you, can, you come to a web phase in your first machine. So, you need to create a public network, and you need to create a, a cluster heartbeat. And if you look at this picture, uh, you can clearly see the labels. So, I've got a virtual switch created, or a virtual machine port created, which is called cluster heartbeat. Just be very consistent in labeling your cluster in the correct way, and uh, do it step by step, and you won't go wrong. Well, that's about it. Has anyone got any questions? Um, yeah, and uh, would you please be so kind to come to... Uh... When do you uh, see it supporting 64-bit? Uh, it's not supporting 64-bit, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know some customers who have done that. Uh, you, can, uh, you, you can review, if you, if you search on the internet for 64-bit, uh, a cross version I need a supported solution for it. Go visit one. Let's see. Clustering across ESX servers, shared quorum and resource disk. Are you familiar with Double Takes uh, Geo Cluster? Where yeah. they, what do you know about that? Well, if you look at the. So it doesn't do any uh, strange things with the locking disks. Uh, some reservation. So, just follow. Uh, it's just like all the machine inside a virtual machine, also that will work. Uh, so, it, I guess it won't be any problem. Okay, because we want to replicate it by using uh, a network connection or something like that. So, it will not work with a strong reservation. So, that should work. Yeah. All right. That's an important question. It's like uh, RDM using VMFS across. Uh, boxes instead of RDM. Oh, okay, you're clustering without raw device mapping. Any issue with that? Uh, how, do you do, how do you set it up then? Because you really need that shared disk. So if, you, if you're going to do clustering across boxes with, with RDM, uh, that will work because you can have your shared disk uh, for both nodes. Uh, I don't know how to do it else. It won't work. Because you have your two ESX servers, and those two ESX servers don't know for your uh, DRS. Do you have experiences with that? No, yeah. Um, so if you had a non Microsoft cluster exchange installation, yeah. do you have a recommendation for turning that into a Microsoft cluster installation? Is this the other reinstall to this? Do this or do that? Do you remember this case or this case? Is there an yeah, upgrade path? Like you, you talk about variable installation. Yeah. What about existing? Eric Sleuth was just an average guy from Hollywood. First, he was on the radio. Then, he went to the bathroom. Now, he's in the Twilight Zone. Forever. <laughs>